It's Wayne here again. Wayne DeFrancesco, that is. And I thought we'd do a little interesting comparison between Sergio Garcia and Gary Player. Um, I have the lines that I draw. I have them already in here. And first thing you'll notice is the startling similarity in the setup. So Sergio has a little bit of a different type of setup with his knees bent quite a bit, back fairly erect, and his butt back behind his heels a bit. But you can see that it's almost identical to player setup. Now when the swing starts, the similarities will continue. Now player's hands came slightly out and the club slightly behind. There's the club head. But as he did that, you can see that what he'll do is he'll pull his right hip up and back and his right knee along with it, giving him something fairly rare, which is more right leg depth than left knee forward. And you can see that as a result, his head has gone down a bit and forward a bit too. Now in the forward swing, player stays very deep you can see that his legs are behind where they started and he's got the magic move as his hands come right back in to where they came from and the shaft heads into the ball right dead on the shaft plane if not a hair under it. Now the other thing to notice here is that player has lowered himself again and then as he hits the ball he'll come up. Now the camera is going to move forward here so you can't really see it but you can rest assured that those hips are way back there. Now let's take Sergio up and we can see again pretty similar in the takeaway not quite as far behind with the club head and when he gets halfway up Maybe the right elbow is a little more pinched than players, but certainly the elbows are nice and level. And the shaft, very close to almost exactly on plane. Top of the swing, pretty similar. Players club is not quite as on plane, a little bit across maybe, but not by, not by much at all. Now Sergio has not pulled his right leg back as far, his left knee is more forward, but he makes up for it in the forward swing by driving his right leg again back on a 45. And when we're looking at that hand position at address, up and right back into the circle. And then again, here's a guy who comes right in on the shaft plane right in there with player. So there's the right forearm tracing the plane on the bottom. And when Sergio finishes, again, right there in the box. So when you watch Sergio's head down at the top and down again, and you'll find this a recurring theme in the swings that we look at it's what I call the compression pivot movement where the body starts tall, works lower and lower again while maintaining its the forwardness of the head so the head doesn't back up and what you normally see is that the hips end up deeper than they started so that space between the hands and the body is maintained and that allows the club to get nicely in front of the ball. So you don't see a lot of Gary Player swing but you got to remember the guy won nine majors and is one of the great players no pun intended and was a much better putter than Sergio. One of these days Sergio will figure his putter out and he'll win a few majors.